Well, thank you very much there, Mr. Chair. And I want to, the time has finally come. After six years, not a lot of speaking, a whole lot of watching. In the very back corner, so I could see what's going on with my seat, you know, Mr. Outman and then Mr. Inman. So we're pretty balanced back there. You know, we got the innies and the outies covered. So <laughs> it's a lot has happened over the last six years. A lot of good, a lot of bad. Um, I had a lot of personal tragedies in my life, but I had a lot of uh, support and a lot of help here in Lansing. I want to thank most of all for the people in Northern Macomb County, which represents the 33rd District, for sending me to represent them. It's been a very humbling you know, feeling to walk into this building when I come in here. I don't know if not, and everybody knows my past. I've always been uh, the number one in the number two business of fixing things for people, whether it's uh, on-site systems or your sewer or your water line. I've been handling the, the bull for a long time, even in the cattle field, you know, taking care of animals. So maybe it's a right job for me because of that stuff, but uh, it's been very beneficial. I think God's providence has uh, led me to this job with all my um, recent past of what everything, all, all of my experiences in, jo in life, you know, of what we've done to come to a place of such honor to work with the people. It's been such a prerogative of, you know, to be, of, to, to make this decision and to work with the people and to thank everybody that's here all the time. We have all the people, starting with our redcoats, the sergeants, you know, in this chamber, all the clerks, all the committee clerks, all of the policy advisors, all of the people that it takes for the maintenance around these buildings, all of my colleagues, everybody on both sides of the aisle coming here with in their heart wanting to do what's right. One of my favorite things to say is that, you know, your wife is your most important person in life and you don't always agree with them because you do have disputes. What do you expect with the general public? But when we can stop and work on bills, work on good legislation to help people, it is rewarding. And it's very nice to say that um, I would invite all the people from this chamber to my house for dinner, and it's very surprisingly to a lot of people. Even with my bill just up, there's some people that didn't agree with it, but I think it was a good bill, and they voted their heart and their conscience what they thought was right for the people. So there's a lot of memories, a whole lot of memories here. Um, I served in tourism quite a few uh, times, with, you know, committees with uh, Representative Patalia. That was a very, very emotional deal for us. Same thing with Representative Plowicki. I was really getting pretty close with her, up to her office on working on some environmental issues and the tragic losses. My good friend Dave Rutledge also lost his spouse. And then uh, Representative Marsha Hovey Wright just lost her husband a couple weeks ago. Through those tragedies, we got somebody to talk to, move on. It just, you know, with the support that's in this place, working together, it's just another story, another good thing that's happened. Um, I mean, we have the funny stories. I can, the best recollection I, can, I will talk about coming from agriculture and eating beets. <laughs> Some people have to go to the hospital because they think they're dying the next day. <laughs> I won't ne name any names, but he does belong to the Ken Caucus. <laughs> Some other good times, you know, with uh, former representatives, you know, working in here. I had a lot of good fun with uh, Representative Lunn, you know, in, on the insurance committee, going to the end coil of events, uh, staying there all day and then go out at night looking at uh, and the sights and the sounds of the cities of where they're, they're hosted at, doing the people's work during the day. It was, it's very enjoyable. This is a lot of fond memories, a lot of good stories to talk about. Um, making the road tours with Representative Rendon. And the uh, biggest thing we find out is about swimmer's itch. Oh, that's a fun one for everybody. <laughs> but, it, you know, all in all, it gives us a good bonding time. Trips up to the UP on behalf of doing stuff for the Timbermen. My good friends in the UP. I got, you know, Scott DeAnda and Kivala, as well as, I cannot forget, you know, Ed McBroom, you know, from our side of the aisle. But, 
we bond and talk and do the work that's right. A lot of good times. They even helped me to try to look for a rich widow. Remember that, Scott? <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot of fond memories here, and I want to thank everybody for this. And in closing, I guess I'm going to say roses are red, violets are blue, both flowers are beautiful, and Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you, Representative Davis.